Okay, hello there. Uh, we're back. And today we are going to be learning good strategies on using the sweep one and sweep two command and finishing it off with a contour command. So here are our ge geometries that we're going to sort of manipulate. Now let's start from the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to start a new file. I'd like to work in, uh, in millimeters, large objects, millimeters. So <clears throat> the best way to think about a sweep is let's think about a crown molding or a baseboard that's wrapping around. Uh, so I'm just going to draw just a quick polyline. And the sweep command is good if you want to create a geometry and you want to run it across this. Uh, but with this sort of protocol, you can think of other uh, interesting things. So I'm going to just make like a little baseboard. So I'm going to make a little baseboard. I created this. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to snap this point to here. So I'm going to type sweep one. So it's asking me to select this first rail. So I'm going to select this rail. And then it's asking me for the select sweep shape. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to go to shaded. And then voila. You can see what's happening. There's a little bit of some weird conditionings happening at these tight corners. But this is basically the, the way to think of a sweep. Now, let me manipulate this because... I want to make it, I want to make a new line. <clears throat> so then I am going to make something around this line. So I am going to create that. Now I am going to copy this. And then now I want to edit this but I want to keep everything in uh, sort of the same condition that's lining up here. I just want to pull this with my, with my, and I will, with these two rails, I want to show you how we can get into the sweep two command. So I am going to click on this. I'm, I'm going to rebuild this line because I want to put a little bit of a profile so I can get an interesting uh, geometry. So let me click on this. I'm gonna click on, nope. I'm gonna click on this. Okay, so I'm gonna go to sweep two. It's gonna ask me for the first rail. It's gonna ask me for the second rail. And I'm gonna select this object. And you can see you have uh, a little bit of a more interesting shape. Uh, now, what if I want to make this into more of a solid shape? So I can go, I'll draw this line here. And then I'll draw this line right here. Now I'm going to make this into one geometry. I'm going to hit the middle mouse key click on the join. Now I'm going to go to the sweep to command again. I'm going to click on this line, this line, this section, and then I have this geometry. And then I can hit cat to make it to fill it in. But let's see what happens if I do something differently. Let me take this geometry let me just, let me click on this geometry, hit the, the middle mouse key and I'll lock it. Let me take the lines and then let me copy this. Now I'm going to take this geometry, I'm going to copy it and bring it here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going I'm to hit the scale 1D command. So I'm going to hit scale 1D and I'm going to click on the bottom click on this top and scale and snap it to this point. Now with the sweep commands, you can 
create multiple sections. And the reason why uh, this is really helpful, it, it organizes the shape a little bit more. So let me show you, let me go type sweep two. I'm gonna select this, select that as a two, and it's asking me to select sweep shapes. So I can select multiple shapes. I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna select this as my two shapes. And then I'm gonna go hit cat. And one of the things that you can see is that because I use two shapes, this geometry looks a little bit more organized and not as deformed. Now, <clears throat> to show this even further, I will, I will get into the contour command to show you what would happen when I split these geometries and what kind of effect you can get. So when I'm contouring command is basically splitting it into, into planes. And the best way for me to do that is to do a bounding box on the element. So I'm gonna go type box, bounding box, it's already there. I'm gonna click on this geometry. I'm gonna do the same thing for this. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me find the length of this line. Oops, let me, let me type in dupe edge. I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna type in length. So this is 5809 millimeters. So I'll probably try to split the geometry maybe 150. Let's see what that what happens. So I'm going to go to contour. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on this and this as the as the cutting. Let me make it 100. Okay, so we have this And let me, yep, I can make this into planes. Or I can give a little bit of thickness. So I'll type the extrude command. Now, when I hit the extrude command, it's, it's by default, it's extruding the Z direction. So to change that, I hit type D. And I'm going to run my plane going this way. And I'm going to make this 35 millimeters thick. So you can see what the result is based on this sweep surface. Now let's see what happens when I do the same thing for this geometry. So I'm going to type contour. Whoops. Let me hit control to deselect this. And then this is my geometry. And it's already a default. So you can see when you manipulate the amount of sections within the sweep, you can get a better sense of organization. So when you're getting into the sweep two command, get into the habit of knowing how your geometry is going to end up because if you just have one section of a sweep you're going to have this sort of weird irregular sort of geometry and maybe that's what you want but if you want something more uh, tight and more uh, better regulated employ the multiple sections and sometimes all you need is just two sections and within the sweep commands you can use as many sections as you want to make it as refined as possible. Okay, thank you.